Warning, this video may contain foul language, crude humor, and is meant for an adult audience. Please be advised. Hello and welcome to another edition of War Journal Toys. I am Jason, your toy vigilante, here to be your Ford observer, your toy hunting missions. Let's debrief. So today we're taking a look at Masters of the Universe Orco. Heroic Court Magician, 40th Anniversary Retro Play. Let's get into this. So, I found this at Target. They, I did a video, if you guys saw the shorts of the 40th display, with Manny Faces, Scare Glow, Orco here, and Trap Jaw. And still haven't been successful in getting a display. Everybody else in the fucking world has been able to but me. But that's the way things roll, I guess. Um, so, got this Orco. Really glad I did. Um, I wanted to get this one because it was unpunched. 40th anniversary. I had one that the card was kind of fucked up. It wasn't very good. Um, of the original 2020 release. Um, so when I got found this one, I'm going to keep this one on card. And I decided to open him up and take a look. So this one comes with the 40th anniversary card on Punched. Heroic Court Magician. Um, I, I like Orco. I like this version, the Origins version. I do not like the original vintage version. Because you could remove his hat. And his head looks so stupid. And I i mean, even back when I was a kid, I saw that. And I'm like, that's fucking dumb. It was a bad... They should have never taken, been able to take off the hat for Orko. In my humble opinion. But there's the artwork throwing shit in Beastman's face, which is cool. And uh, so, with this card, the only difference is you get the vintage head... They show He-Man and the vintage head Skeletor with closed mouth. Everything else is the same. Even the UPC. And then the rest of them from this line. Manny Faces, Trap Jaw, and Scare Glow. So there's that. <clears throat> we'll take a closer look at him. Take this out of the line so we can focus on him. So I really like the eyes on... On, let's turn this on. I really like the eyes on this one. The hat doesn't come off, which is good. But with the head, it's just, it's a way better figure than the vintage one, in my opinion, when it comes to Orco. And then it comes with a stand. So he looks like he's floating. Maybe you got the magic or whatever that's supposed to be. But it, it articulates so it can look like he's go going away away from you or he can look like he's going at you but he's got a little bit of articulation in his arms and his hands um i don't think he ever had a staff or anything so it was just his hands you got to watch two guys because his eyes they're not always painted the best so pay attention to that if you're going to get one for display Plus around the ears too, if you can see right there. So, but yeah, Oracle's always been one of my favorite because he's he was a, a young magician, but had no idea that he was one of the more powerful characters in the show, um, or in the storyline, and just never realized it because he was so young. But I'm Jason. This is a re. A review of Masters of the Universe Orco Wave 2 re-release 40th anniversary. If you like my content, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.